My name is Nenya Ejebe, and I'm a partner at Adenya Partners. Uh, Adenya is a pan-African private equity fund manager. Uh, my responsibility is looking at investments in Anglophone West Africa, so primarily Nigeria and Ghana. So how do you structure a family business to make sure that the saying of when you do business with family, it doesn't go great? How exactly do you structure a business to make sure that that is not what it is, to make sure the business grows more like? Yeah, so as a private equity firm, when we get involved in terms of a partnership with a family-run business, we try to put in place a proper governance structure. So that means things like having a formal board of directors and also having a document, a legal contract called a shareholders agreement that sort of covers and describes how the business should be run, what decisions shareholders should make, what decision the board should make, and what decision management should make. Putting those formal governance structures in place is one of the benefits of using uh, private equity in a, a business, but a family can still put all those, th all those things in place on their own if they have the will to, yeah. How about sharing of percentages? Is there a particular structure for it? Because I mean, there's the first born, the second born, the third born, you know, things like that. And then there's the father, mother, and probably even uncles. Is there a way that the shares are shared? Oh, I mean, this is very specific to every family, every company. I'm sure it has to do with the kind of skills and value add each person can bring to the business. So, I mean, that's a very personal, I think, decision for any founder. So it's not about the ages. Well, for me, I, I wouldn't say so. But I mean, depending on your own family, family dynamic, maybe that's important. All right. Why exactly do families seek external capital to start business? Okay. So whether families seek to raise capital from the public markets or from private equity firms, um, there's sort of two main reasons why. One is growth capital. I think as one of the panelists mentioned, Yes, you can borrow from a bank, but typically the terms of a loan can be uh, challenging for a business if what the loan is going to be used for will take you know many years to come to fruition for, in terms of cash flow. So sometimes financing with equity is more attractive than financing with debt. And so like uh, we said, you can get equity from the public markets or you can get equity from the private markets. So that's for growth capital. Another reason why a family may seek external capital is because they want to basically diversify their holdings. If all of the family's wealth is contained in the value of a business, maybe at a certain point they say, okay, we want to liquidate part of that value or all of that value, put it in cash, which we can use to invest in other things, uh, or put part of it in cash, which we can use to invest in other things, at, whilst at the same time continue to own a stake in the business and having that grow. Especially, I mean, as you can imagine, these this last uh, 12 to 18 months in Nigeria has been very volatile. If you were a family and all of your wealth was in the business, maybe you would have wished that you had some wealth outside the business invested in other things to give you a little bit of diversification and hopefully some stability in terms of the net worth of the family.